Hello friends, uh, this coming Sunday we're back to our Psalms for the Summertime series. Um, just to give you a sense of where we've been so far as we restart the series after a week off. Uh, we started the series with Psalm 1, and Psalm 1 had that true and tidy vision of what it means to belong to the Lord. It said that those who are righteous are like uh, a tree rooted by streams of water, and everything they does prospers. And the wicked are like chaff in the wind. A true statement, a tidy statement. Psalm 1 is a very positive vision. Uh, Psalm 1 is like uh, standing on a sunny hillside with uh, the love of God shining on your face and everything is great. The next three sermons we went into were very different. We went from the sunshine and into the storm. We had a Psalm of lament. We had a Psalm of despair. And last week, uh, Psalm 32, or two weeks ago, Psalm 32, where Chad looked at uh, confession and we wrestled with our sins. So we've been looking at trouble Psalms that lead us to reflect on our trouble for three weeks. For the rest of the series, the next six sermons, we are going to look at Psalms that give us a sense of how God would have us meet our trouble, what God would have us do, what he would have us practice, how he would have us orient our lives and our hearts in the face of trouble. And that starts this week with Psalm 27. Psalm 27, I think probably for some of you, is one of your favorite psalms. It's very well known. It's beautiful. It's a psalm that people go to over and over again. And as I get ready to preach it, and as we think about how this psalm, how in this psalm the Spirit might be teaching us to face our troubles, what the Spirit might be teaching us to do to help us in our troubles, I just have two questions for you. Um, one of the things that a lot of people know about this psalm and love about it is that it's in this psalm that we have all that imagery of wanting to see God's face. So the psalmist says, One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to see him in his temple. And verse 8, My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face I will seek, Lord. Do not hide your face from me. So that imagery of seeking God's face. As you read through the psalm, by yourself, in that image of seeking God's face. Look at the psalm. Does the psalmist suggest a strategy of a habit or a practice that will help you see God's face? The psalmist yearns for God's face. In this psalm, does he suggest a habit or a practice that might help us see God's face? That's question one. Question two, uh, one of the most interesting verses in this, in this psalm for me is... Uh, is verse 12, where the psalmist says, do not turn me over to the desire of my foes. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes. What do you think the psalmist is worried about when he prays that? I think that's another important question in this psalm. Uh, both of those will be addressed in the Sermon Sunday. I look forward to seeing you. Thanks.